All right, YouTube, here's a quick video on something uh, that I just finally figured out. I've read the manual a million times. I've searched online forever, and everything was worded really funny. And I really just wanted a how do I do this kind of kind of answer. And I knew I knew the MPC could do this. So uh, what I'm talking about is uh, changing patches when you change sequence. So basically, I set up my songs by loading tracks on each pad and then muting and unmuting them as I play uh, or you know to, to sequence the song so we're just gonna run through that really quick and it's way easier than everything I read made it seem to be so uh, so I start with a, a blank sequence uh, let's get down to track one uh, and this is basically using the MPC as a sequencer you know, not really focusing on the sample aspect of it. I do use it as a sampler for drums. So I will leave it as drum. I will load up uh, some samples, MIDI off, and put in a real quick uh, drum pattern just to play things against. And we'll see. We'll just go from there step by step. So. Easy, basic. Okay, so we're going to go up to an empty track, track two. I'm going to use this to run uh, a bass line from the Novation Bass Station 2. It is on MIDI channel 1. So I will select that uh, over here in MIDI to 1, 1A. One and I'm only using uh, one MIDI output on the MPC. Everything's just chained. I've got it going to a Korg MS2000R on a rack stand here. That's chained, the through is chained over to a MINIAC, and then uh, finally to the base station. The through from the MINIAC is out to the base station because it only has an in and out. So, easy, no timing issues. I mean, we're talking milliseconds, indistinguishable to the human ear, so I, I don't even want to get into that debate. So, here we are. So we've got it set to 1A. Uh, we're going to set this to MIDI. And that way, that is now affecting our, let me get down to, so now our pads are controlling that, okay? Now we can record with the pads. I have a controller set up to record the notes to, um, however you do that, the, you should already have that figured out. If not, maybe... There's a couple of videos out there on how to do that, so we won't go into that there. So, we've got that. So let's record something uh, simple. I don't know. Okay, that sounds good enough for this. That's actually horrible, so let me just do that one more time. <laughs> okay, easy enough. Now, to get it to change and store the pat, I don't want to use that patch for this for this part on the on the base station. So we're gonna go to program. And this is the confusing part where that the in the manual is just it doesn't say go to program change it to number and then select that so and it's almost that easy there's one extra step uh, we need to hit the window button with program highlighted and we have a couple of options here bank select uh, is going to continue to be no. Uh, for the base station because there are no banks. It's only one bank. So, And we'll get to that in a second when I do something for the MINIAC. Uh, for this, we strictly need the program change to select the patch. So we're going to go to transmit program changes in this track. We're going to select yes and then close. That easy. So now I'm going to play it and then start scrolling and you should hear the base station change. And in fact, 
can almost get to the, okay, we can see the number there. So we're going to play. Okay, and I'm not changing it there. I'm changing it up here. Now you'll notice that says 59. Down there it says 58. That's because, uh, and most patches start with a zero. So it's usually going to be off by one. And that's just how it is. And that's, that's kind of a standard just based on uh, the electronics inside. So that sounds okay. We're going to keep that. Now we are going to go to a new track. Uh, unused. We're going to change that to MIDI. We're going to put that on 5A, which is the receiving channel of my uh, MINIAC. It starts at 5, that way I can stack them all and I don't, you know, no two things are playing the same thing. Yada yada yada. So, let me pick one. Okay, we can hear that. That is now the MINIAC playing. So, uh, we want to pick, say I want to pick a strings uh, section on the Miniac, and let me take this off of here just so you can see what I'm about to click. Okay. I want to go to strings, so we're going to hit the program button and then the strings key as a quick, it's really bright, you might be able to see that, and I want to go to the C. String Dream. Okay, now. Yeah, it's really bright. So if I hit and hold the program, it changes. And that says Bank 4, Patch 56. That's what we need to know. So let's come back up here. Bank 4, Patch 56. So we're on 5A, we're on MIDI, track 3. We're going to go over to our program. We're going to select program number. Okay, now we're going to hit the window key to get back to the screen. Uh, we are going to select bank select, yes, because the MINIAC has multiple banks of 128 patches per bank. And that's where MSB LSB comes in. So MSB stands for most significant byte. That is your that's going to stay zero unless you're unfortunate enough to have a synth that has more than 128 banks, which is outlandish and very unfortunate for you. Uh, so we can go to least significant byte, and that is going to select basically our bank. We start at zero, so we're, that would be at bank zero. That would be at bank one, two, three, four. So that's the fourth bank. Bank select, yes. So, fourth bank, bank select yes, program change yes, just like before. Close. Okay, so now any, any of the program numbers we change here are going to be selecting that program number from that bank that we set, which is bank four. So we're going to scroll up, and what did I say, 56? So that should be 57. Here, it's really 56 there because of the zero and the one thing. You know, whatever. So now we've got some strings. So my 58 is bass because they are not laid out by bank by style. So, but I want I want that. So let's record something in real quick, and let me play. change that to something a little more uh, noticeable because I'm not I'm not plugging in to record the audio strictly through the phone because we don't need it okay there we go so 51 here bank 4 51 
bank four from there, patch 51 here, which will really be 50 over there, uh, sticks mini mode. So, let's uh, go ahead and record something there. Okay. Easy enough. Let me turn it up so you can hear it. Now, say I'm going back later, and I'm like, man, that something's not sitting in the mix, blah, 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 I don't want to work with it. Let me just s scroll through some, uh, scroll through some different patches. Granted, it's in bank four. Okay. Let me mute the, uh, Mute the bass. So. You get the idea. So, what we've done is, as a, just a quick recap, we've got two separate tracks that are calling up patch numbers on two separate devices at the MIDI channel. Now if the MIDI channel I can if I change the MIDI channel to say uh, the Korg on the rack it's gonna send that same program change so it's gonna go to that that program on that. So you really need to have your setup dialed in if you're gonna be saving your sequences like this and not changing many things around. This is not what you wanna do first. You wanna get your get all your MIDI and everything set up for all the devices. Leave room for other devices too. Uh, which is why my Miniac is on 5, because I used the multis on it, and I left 5 and up, except for 16, uh, open to where if I add things, I can do it there. Even though you don't need, for program change, you wouldn't do that just for uh, MIDI sequencing. So, And maybe I'll do a video on that too, because that, that was pretty fun to start setting up in the beginning. So... If we come up to sequence and we change to something else, here's a little test. So that, that sounds silly. Okay. So we have different patches going right now. I'm not going to mess with the sense at all. I'm simply going to scroll back up to the one we had we've already programmed and when we hit the top of eight bars uh, all the patches are going to set to what we had we had already previously set in them and just like that easy enough so you would save this out to wherever and the next time you pull it up and you push play it's going to automatically pull up the patches on the sense that you programmed it to. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, like I said, I just I just wanted to make a video so other people can see how easy it is, and hopefully that will uh, clear some things up. Thanks.